Today I'm going to break down every single 3DS console variation to help you guys decide which one is best for you. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So first of all, there are a good amount of 3DS consoles out there to purchase, so it could be kind of stressful to figure out which one is best for you. There's the original launch 3DS, the 3DS XL, the 2DS, the new 2DS XL, and the new 3DS XL. They all sound the same, but they all have their own different features, and some of them have their own special editions that are only available for that specific console. But the special editions do cost more money, so I'm just going to go for like the base model here in this video. Each 3DS console is amazing, and I think any of them are worth picking up, but some definitely have some features that may suit you better. Firstly, let's talk about the original launch 3DS. This is the same size like the DS Lite or DSi, basically, but it was the introduction for many people to the 3DS lineup. This one is the one that I had as a kid, but I unfortunately lost it. I'd love to find another one for a good price. I have no idea where mine went. This one is kind of on the cheaper side of the 3DS lineup. This one's around 80 to like 120-ish dollars, I guess, depending on the color and the condition. The console is definitely smaller for easier portability. It has everything the other 3DS consoles have, basically, but it's just the original version. You know, the other consoles have some upgraded features, some better buttons and everything. But if you just want a 3DS console to play, like, leisurely, I think this is the one to go with. This one is very glossy, so fingerprints will be really prevalent. It definitely looks a little bit outdated. Not a lot, but just a little bit compared to the other 3DS models. The 3D function on this is not amazing. It does kind of cause nausea after a certain amount of time. It's it's not the best, but they do end up upgrading this in feature 3DS consoles. And due to the smaller size, it may cramp your hand a little bit if you use it for too long, but these issues may not bother some people. Moving on to the 3DS XL, this is just the bigger version of the original 3DS. It definitely gives a more immersive play style because it has a bigger screen. There are some revisions on this console from the original 3DS, such as better buttons, better analog stick, better screen, and the 3D effect is better. It does take a while to turn on though, it's a little bit slow. It definitely has more curved edges as you can see in the footage on the screen, so it kind of gives it a more slim design. This one does jump up a little bit in price, coming in around $150. Now onto the 2DS, this one is definitely controversial in like the handheld console world because of its design. This one does not fold, it literally is just one size, it's like a brick, and it does have like a slant design which is kind of weird, but strangely enough people say this is the most comfortable 3DS console to hold. This one doesn't have the 3D feature which I don't really think is a big deal because most people don't really use the 3D anyways. I never did because it always just it always just kind of got in the way and it gave me a headache. This console does kind of feel cheap because it was made as a cheaper console. It's kind of made for kids. It's a really sturdy console. It can be dropped and it will probably be safe. This one's also a little bit affordable right now. It's around 80 to 90 dollars. Now, moving on to the new 2DS XL, this is the one that I actually picked up about two years ago, and the reason I did was because of the design. I think this is a really cool design. I love the front with the blue and like the black with the lines. To me, it just kind of resembles like the OG Nintendo style in a way, and I love the front screen. I think it's really sleek looking. So this is one I picked up. The only issue I have with this is the screen hinge kind of flops around a lot which I think the new 3DS consoles don't do that as much and it is a little bit annoying at times but it's not a big deal. This one also doesn't have the 3D feature but it is a clamshell design so it does fold like a laptop. One of the coolest features on this console is that you can actually cover up where the game cartridge goes in. You know like how on your 3DS or DS or DSi or whatever it goes in the back and you could just click in it comes out on here. You could put it in at the bottom not on the top and there's a little cover that goes over it so you don't accidentally click it. Not that that's like a really big problem but it's there and it's a nice feature. This one also has like a longer feel to it so it's not like as much of a brick. I think this fits better in the pocket than other 3DS consoles personally because it's pretty thin and uh, it's really round as well. This one is on the pricier side though. It comes in around 200 ish dollars and you could also play the new Nintendo games on this like because it has the C stick so that's like another button that the new 2DS and 3DS consoles have. Next up we have the new 3DS and the new 3DS XL, so they made the big and small version of the new 3DS consoles. This is the 3DS console that most people like and most people go with when it comes to buying a 3DS in modern day because it has a really nice design, it's the most modern version. It's definitely like the quickest and it feels great, the build quality is really good on the new 3DS consoles. 
The buttons are great. The screen looks really good. The 3D has been improved a lot. Doesn't give you nausea as much. I mean, it still does after some amount of time, but you know, it's definitely a huge improvement from the original console. One of the coolest features about the new 3DS consoles is that you can actually change the faceplate. So you can always have a new refresh look to your console. I wish the new 2DS had that, but it's all right. It's not a big deal. The faceplates do cost a lot of money though, which is kind of unfortunate. So you're gonna have to do some research to find a good price or maybe some knockoff ones, but it's a really cool feature. These are also really expensive too, around like 200 to 300 ish dollars, depending on condition and the color of course, but most people go with this console. I'd say this is probably the most popular 3DS console just because it's so improved from the original console so it has all the best features and it's still a 3DS console and it's the clamshell of course. Personally I'd say if you're going to buy a 3DS for modding it and you're going to be using it like all the time very frequently I'd recommend the new 2DS XL or the new 3DS slash new 3DS XL just because they're the newest they're the fastest and if you want a 3DS just to play some old childhood games just to use every now and then play leisurely, I'd recommend saving some money and going with the cheaper models like the 2DS or the original 3DS or even their original 3DS XL. I mean, in the end of the day, it's all about preference and what you think you'd like more. And if you want some of the special editions, of course, those are going to cost a lot more money. I know someone like the special edition Pokemon new 3DS console sell for like $500. It's insane. Maybe even more. But the prices I gave in this video are just all about the base models just like you know this the flat out color like the blue the red the black just the normal colors that everyone had the most common ones but the special editions might actually hold their value way better so that's something to put in consideration but yeah let me know what your guys's favorite 3ds console is or the best looking one in your opinion hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video